So we've already started to discuss a few different types of uh, operations, calculations, uh, run times. The first one, really super slow, that we, we sort of discussed was a constant, an O of 1. And the idea behind this is if I you know, tick this and say that it's a 1, it doesn't actually matter how big of an input size I'm going to get. This operation will always run at a constant speed, so time will never change for it. Then we introduced what we classify as linear. O of n. So same kind of argument could be said here. As my n increases, as it goes from uh, 0 to 1, as we see through this chart, what's actually going to happen is it's going to kind of run at a very straight line pretty much continue going up. As input size goes up, we also, our time increases. However, that's not, these are not the only two algorithms out there. We also have something known as log. O log of n. Now, the idea behind log is that there is a, a diminishing return uh, going on there. So I, I like that. Diminishing, diminish, nish ing return. So what do I mean? Well, at the start, yes, it's going to still kind of increase. And it'll increase pretty much the same as uh, my, my linear time. However, at some point in time, it's going to start to taper off. And even if my input size continues to increase, at some point in time, you know, in our argument, we could say, like, I don't know, this is like uh, 20. It doesn't really matter, but as I my algorithm kind of looks, 20 will stay consistent over time. Okay, so that's that idea of diminishing return. Even if I go from, like, here, 50 to 100, we see no real, let's see, that's 50, and that was 100. We see no real jump there, versus when we went from 0 to 50, we saw at least some increase. So, logarithmic time. We also then can look a little bit on the opposite side. So, if I have logarithmic time, and I have, say, linear time, I also have what we would call log linear. In log of n. This is really interesting. This is where you'll find a lot of problems because uh, sometimes we do have to run through every single element in, say, a list, but then as we kind of process them, uh, we can do them in some type of diminishing return style. Uh, one good example of this is, let's say I wanted to, say, uh, find all unique, unique letters in a sentence. Sentence. There we go. So I'd have to go through every single letter in linear, but I could uh, manipulate it in some way that I only have to look at certain letters if uh, they get cut off. So this actually is kind of interesting because it's a little more than linear. In fact, it's sort of I wouldn't call it the reverse just yet, but it sort of skyrockets pretty high uh, pretty quickly. As we sort of increase size, it gets bigger because, again, I have to multiply uh, these two numbers together. We can continue to grow from here. And another way we could think about this, if I had uh, that same algorithm of finding all the unique letters in a sentence, one of the ways I might do it is to store all those letters and then go through that, uh, that stored uh, list. Well, the problem is, since I have to go through that list, I might run into what we call a quadratic time. O of n squared. One, I have to go through every letter in a sentence, and then I'm going again through every letter in sort of my stored unique letter list. The problem is, as you can kind of imagine, now since I'm not doing a diminished return, I'm doing sort of n times n, this starts to jump incredibly quickly uh, as well. 
and we can keep on going with this. We uh, have one final one that we can look at, exponential. And the idea here is instead of me looking at n, r, we would actually kind of flip those two digits around. So our exponent is now the n, uh, and we just continue. No matter, uh, as our input size increases, we are doubling every single time. And if you thought about that for just a second, something like 2 to the power of 32, that's already getting us into 4.2 billion uh, as a number. So we're getting really big really quickly, even at a small number here. And so this seems to start skyrocketing sort of right away uh, very quickly.